All right, here's a quick overview on updating your hoppers and your American changers. Great changers, they last a long time, but at some point uh, could be worth updating the hopper. Um, basically, this was an older Mark IV hopper. Um, it was, this was in the earlier versions, and it was typically used on a control board like this. So in the event you have a control board with five red segments, um, the connector that's going to connect to your board right here, uh, we just call this the 10-wire connector. This is a long connector, and basically it will attach here. So when you order a replacement hop or hopper, you just specify yellow stripe 10-wire, whether you have a front load or rear load machine, and you'll get the correct hopper. Um, then it becomes a little bit more complicated um, with these green stripe hoppers. Uh, basically, there were two, two different interfaces. So the neat thing about this hopper was it could work with the older boards. Um, all three of these boards here, you would see something similar in your machine, but basically you'll have an LCD display right here that has your meter. It has two lines of text. So if you do have this green stripe hopper, you want to identify which of these two connectors goes to your control board. So if this is attached to your control board, you want to buy what we call yellow stripe 10 wire. If this right here is connects to your control board, then you want to buy the yellow stripe 5 wire. And very important, so when either of these two hoppers are replaced, when you get this from Capital Vending, we're actually sending you a brand new hopper base as well as a brand new hopper. And then <clears throat> the wiring harness here, this is the small one, I guess we call this 5 wire. And this larger hopper here, we call the 10 wire. So basically, uh, you're going to get the base. So just remember, very important, when either of these two are replaced, you're getting a brand new base, so you want to take out the old base uh, when you install your new hopper.